Let's see, it's, uh, Jesus, can you quiet down for a second? It's about 6.45 on a, uh, Sunday morning, and just parked at Lake Hollywood Drive. Gonna walk over to... Quiet, man. I'm trying to vlog here. Uh, gonna walk over to the Wonderview Trailhead, and we're gonna take a hike uh, up to the Wisdom Tree. trailhead um, it's probably another only half mile to get up toward the tree is but it's something like 500 feet of elevation so it's gonna be a little bit of a little bit of a workout It was 2007, there was a big fire up here, burned hundreds of acres. Pretty much everything was eviscerated. But the tree we're going up to today, the wisdom tree, was pretty much the only surviving piece of vegetation for, uh, for acres around it. Um, and it's kind of become like a local uh, landmark slash tourist destination. But uh, yeah, we'll go up there and find out a little bit more about it. What's interesting is that you know, over the years, tree sort of became a symbol for survival and renewal. And uh, people started leaving notes underneath it. Eventually one gentleman left ammo boxes that people could uh, kind of store the notes in, you know, like extra notebooks and things of that nature. And it just kind of became this collective thought experiment or thought dump or dream dump or worry dump or whatever you want to call it. But now it's kind of a local, local institution. It's pretty neat. Well, I guess somebody put a flag up here too. That's a that's a new addition. Probably I didn't need the, I didn't need the extra layer, I don't think. So the point we're at now, uh, this this kind of uh, crest up here, it's called Burbank Peak. That's where the tree is. Um, you could continue east across a ridge and get over towards, uh, wrap around to where Mount Lee is and see the Hollywood sign, but we're not gonna do that today. Just just up and down to the tree and back for this morning. That's enough. Well, to my point about the, uh, the popularity, I guess, some guy was leading a uh, hiking slash yoga class to come up here. They just wanted to pop in and see the tree, and then they're gonna go do the do the class at the uh, at the base of the trail where we entered earlier. But I mean, that just goes to show you how popular this place is, uh, which is like I said, good and bad. I guess what I'm happy about is that whoever's doing the uh, the job of cleaning up around here, whether it's the hikers who come up here and take care of it, or um, I noticed some signs down below. Uh, for there are people who take care of the trail and I'm thanking them. They're doing a really good job because compared to where I, when I was here last time, there's no trash, um, not very much graffiti, not very many like weird rock formations that people have uh, added to the, uh, to the peak. Um, the flag is a new addition though. I'm not sure if that's sanctioned or not, but it looks pretty cool. So for what it's worth, 
and yesterday was Veterans Day. So happy Veterans Day. Thank you guys for your service. Appreciate that. Um, anyway, we're on the way back down now. You know, one other thing I was thinking about and how lucky we are to have this space still. This wasn't always part of Griffith Park, as far as I know. Um, I believe Howard Hughes or his estate owned the land for a while. Um, in the early 2000s or mid 2000s, a Chicago title company, realty company, bought it up and wanted to develop it into like, I don't know, apartments or condos or houses or something. It was only because in, uh, in 2010, at least from what I've read, Hugh Hefner and a few other local uh, luminaries raised the money to, uh, to buy the land and then make it part of the park. And that's the only reason I'm able to hike on it today. So that was a pretty cool little footnote too, worth mentioning. Well, that was a nice little, uh, little excursion for the morning, and I can only think of one perfect way to end. Can I just get one um, papas and bacon? So I would say I have several go-to breakfast burrito spots throughout the city, but Tacos Via Corona, because it's the closest to where I live, is probably the one I eat at the most frequently. So it's only five bucks. They cook the potatoes as good as anybody else does, and I think that's really the key to a great breakfast burrito is the texture and the quality of the potatoes. Uh, they also use mozzarella cheese, which I think is a nice touch. Uh, it gives that extra fatty flavor to it. And, uh, yeah, it's just good overall. In any case, I'm super hungry, a little bit tired, and, um, I'm gonna enjoy the fu-